Okay, so I'm here with the guru himself, Eric Steele. Uh, Eric, it's great to see you again. Uh, just a couple of questions for you. Uh, you know, the, obviously we talk a lot about goalkeeping and, and goalkeeper coaching. And for the people that don't know, what, what is the pathway for a goalkeeper coach in England? Well, obviously compared to what you have in the US of A, um, our pathway is better because we've got 90 clubs potentially that could get work at. We now have massive, massive academy setups where there's, that's really introduced more jobs. So pathway for them is qualification still. Uh, you don't get anywhere now in England or Europe without the level three goalkeeper and then the UEFA A. So that's something that the pathway is there for them, but they have to go down the coach education route. And we have now, we've decided your, your backdrop you've got here, I can safely say now after seven years of St. George's being built, we worked on very quickly the DNA for the, the whole concept of the team. The last three, four years under the lead national coach, um, we started to say, what's the DNA for the goalkeepers? Yeah. And what we have made sure of is we cannot improve the goalkeepers until we improve the coaches. So that really has been a massive drive, hence the reason for the new level three replacing the B. The level four, the A license, UA for A recognized, um, that is so highly popular now. And we listen to the coaches, what they want, what they need. So certainly coach education and the jobs are there and the jobs have opened up within academy, whether you're working as a senior academy or whether you're working as a foundation coach. Yeah, so, I mean, the education of uh, educational side of things is so important. It's something that uh, we're still trying to find ways in America to, to get education. So how, as, as a goalkeeper coach, how should goalkeeper coaches uh, better themselves and grow and learn? Well, I think there's a, in terms of self-learning, once you've completed the course of training, that isn't, you haven't, it's like passing your driving test. You pass your driving test, you don't become a good driver overnight. You've got to practice and rehearse. Similar to coaches, put themselves in, take themselves into situations where they come out of their comfort zone, stretch themselves, learn to link in with outfield coaches. There's a massive, massive drive now to actually say, you should be working alongside another coach, whether it be the first team goalkeeping coach or whether it be you're acting up as that. Um, but certainly broaden your horizons, go and watch other people work, go and watch other sports. And there's so much you can do. So once you've got your qualifications, whatever level you're at, make sure that you plan your sessions, you prepare your sessions, you build in progressions, and also, you know, be a sponge yourself. I'm yeah. still now, my, I'm still learning. You know, I watch your work today and I see something in the session, think, you know, I could take that. And that's what it's about. But don't just go and watch goalkeeping coaches. Go and watch right. outfield coaches, go and watch other sports. And again, just because we're here, that's the value of this place. You can come in here on a Monday, Tuesday, and there'll be a basketball squad in. Yeah. Go and watch the warm ups, you pick something up. So you've got to become that way open minded, be a sponge. And I think that's part of your development. Yeah. I mean, one of the, and that's, that's really the philosophy behind uh, the International Goalkeeper Coaches Conference, um, which you're going to be presenting at this year uh, or in, tw in 2020. Eric's going to be one of the presenters. Uh, I think. Having an open mind, uh, and I've had this conversation with a lot of people recently. Goalkeeper coaches are so critical of each other. No, I wouldn't do that. I don't know. That I don't do that. That makes no sense. Without actually asking the question why, mm. or trying to understand why people do things the way they do. Um, but the, the goalkeeper coaches conference is about uh, bringing the pe bringing together people who are like-minded and passionate about goalkeeping. Um, this will be your third time there. We haven't had you there for a, a few years, uh, but we're excited to have you back in Florida with us um, at the IMG Academy. What are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to, eight, to seeing, the, seeing the actual facility. Obviously, from where you were, it was a terrific. The two times I came to Sawgrass, really enjoyed it. I think going on from the point you've just made is I'm looking forward to sharing knowledge. I'm looking forward to whoever, whether it's the fellow presenters or whether it's the coaches that attend. I think that's the one thing that you've got with goalkeeper coaches. We're not as much in terms of wanting to hide away and this is my philosophy, this is the way I do it. My experience of being to conferences now, yourselves uh, and other conferences around the world, that's what it's about, sharing knowledge. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I'm looking forward to presenting in the classroom. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna be there for the three days. Uh, in which case I get a chance to spend more time with the other coaches. So sometimes when, you, when I've been there for just a day, you don't get a chance. So as now, you know, if you haven't signed up, sign up. It's gonna be a terrific event with great presenters. I'm going to be there for three days so you know it might be a cup of coffee in the morning it might be a beer at night but i'm going to be there to help and share as much as i can and make it the, the big event that it is that's fantastic so eric we're looking forward to having you there thanks so much always a pleasure to see you
Uh, see you again. Can you June. get better weather than this? Uh, this is fantastic. December in England. I can't no, no, it. no, no. This is, but I want better than that one. I come okay, in June. Okay, we'll, we'll try. Good we'll man. Try. Thank, Thank you. you.